Good afternoon, Tangerine Tagalongs. Hola, Tangerines. You may remember a few days ago when we told you that after we hit our big milestone of a thousand subscribers, that we were going to get a celebratory massage. Well, we went there, and despite many people in the reviews saying that they happily accept walk-ins, and that's usually not a problem, they were completely booked all throughout the weekend and until the week. So today is the day where we get that celebratory massage. So that was Friday, now it's Monday. Yes. And we're getting it right now. Let's go. Includes an hour massage. Massage that includes an hour massage each and according to their reviews It said they do monthly specials all the time and this this month you get a 30-minute reflexology session with your hour massage I think you need a tongue massage. Yes, I sure do <laughs> We are really excited for this as you have probably heard in a few of our other videos We've been working basically 8 to 15 hour days since well pretty much since the beginning And it wasn't until recently that we noticed that we don't even really take weekends off or any days off during the week ever. from <laughs> ever. So even though this is more than we would typically spend on like anything, <laughs> I think it's well deserved. back here at our Airbnb. We would have liked to record the video while we were walking back, but there was some type of road closure and traffic jam and buses everywhere and it's a tornado outside. But anyway, <laughs> what did you think of your massage? It was called Paxio, which is the name of the place, Especial. Their specialty or something. It was different than any other massage I've had. I heard halfway through there was rice bags or something. Like maybe he was shaking like a tiny maraca over you and <laughs> doing silent chants or something. What was that about? I don't really know. It did feel like bad eggs with rice or maybe small beans in it. Huh. I don't know what video was with that. And then we each got a free session of 30 minutes of reflexology and you chose craniosacral. What did you think of that? Again, really strange. When he started it, he spent the first, what seemed like an eternity, but it was probably like 90 seconds of him just repeatedly tapping with one finger right here in the middle of my forehead. I had no idea what he was doing. I didn't know if I was supposed to do something. <laughs> Is he expecting you to open my eyes at some point? And he's, he's tapping you stop like, excuse it. me, wake up. <laughs> Guys, whoa, I think he's dead. <laughs> by the end of it, I felt like my entire face was just vibrating. Maybe that's what he was supposed to do. Yeah. And then the rest of the time, basically being a dog, and you petting me. Sometimes he did it on like tendons and stuff. So what do you think of yours? Mine was a deep tissue massage and that's exactly what we got in Mazatlan too. But compared to the one in Mazatlan and compared to other ones that I've gotten in the US, it was much lighter. There were a lot of times where she was just like going over in the same spot very lightly so it didn't feel like she was getting down deep into the muscles. That being said, I always love when people give me massages. I got the reflexology for my feet. I can pretty much be put to sleep by getting massages on my feet. But I'm sure over the next few days I'll start noticing all the healing properties from that. We both paid 650 pesos each as far as value goes and in comparison to what we got in Mazatlan and massages that I've gotten in the US. I don't really think this was the greatest value for sort of the quality that I got and it sounds like yours was a little bit strange too. Yeah, our, our massages in Mazatlan were amazing. I left there in a total state yeah. of bliss. They went so far above and beyond. When we were leaving in Mazatlan, I couldn't feel my body. There was no tension anywhere. I felt yeah. like I was loose, like I could stretch as much as I wanted. We hope this doesn't come across as complaining. We're just trying to be as honest and straightforward about the experience as possible so that if you decide to go somewhere like this or you're just curious what to expect if you get whatever the heck that was that you got. <laughs> <laughs> just like in the States, you can get a great massage or you can get a massage that's kind of lackluster. Seems to be the same here. The last thing, we would have pulled out the camera to show you that when we were done, they gave us this nice cup of tea that had little pieces of apple and cranberry and beef. And that was my favorite part. That was so, so good. But unfortunately, we were sitting there and we had the only people in this place 
All of them were standing, staring at us in silence. We didn't know whether we were supposed to have paid before drinking the tea, or if they were just calmly waiting for us to be done, but I had no freaking clue what to do. I it was just wanted- super awkward. Oh my gosh, I was like, can this moment please end? It was like, uh. But anyway, I am still glad that we did this. It was nice to have some relaxation, take a little time off. If you have any questions about this particular location or the massage in general, please let us know down in the comments. And if you want to see more videos, <laughs> go on that bell! <laughs> so you get notified every time we put new ones out about our adventures and travels in Mexico. Don't forget to subscribe, and we will see you in the next one.